This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. I'm going to show you videos of Hanoi, Vietnam. As I ask the question, uh, should you retire in Hanoi? Uh, but no need to take notes. Everything I say is in writing. Just click the link in the notes below this YouTube video to get Hanoi, Vietnam livability factors, cost of living, best areas, uh, ancient city walking tour, uh, evening walk around Quan Kim Lake, uh, favorite markets, nightlife, life and food, and Hanoi facts and history, plus our best retired cheap and paradise locations in the world. This is Dan from Vagabond Buddha. Should you retire in Hanoi, Vietnam? Probably not. Although I love Hanoi and absolutely recommend that you visit here while in Vietnam, I do not re recommend it for retirement. Um, the, the air pollution is too high for your retirement years. Instead, think of Hanoi as a great place to visit as you slow travel around Vietnam. Um, we're right now, um, we're in Hoi An and we've been to two other stops uh, um, since Hanoi. And, and I'm definitely going to tell you where you should retire in Vietnam. Um, you absolutely must see Vietnam and you must see Hanoi. Uh, while you are here, and today we're talking about Hanoi. Um, I like to slow travel as I move around the planet, finding the best retired cheap destinations. Um, I write about the places that I love. I assume you want to travel at least part of the year, even after you find your perfect international retirement destination. Hopefully this guide will teach you how to save a little money when you visit Hanoi as you slow travel around Vietnam. Um, okay, Hanoi livability factors. Hanoi is a large, noisy, crowded city. But couldn't we also say that about New York and other large cities in the world? Since I also love New York, I'm also a big fan of Hanoi. But I don't believe you should retire in Hanoi, as I say. Um, why? Well, New York is just too uh, expensive for most people. Hanoi is not too expensive for most Westerners, but the air pollution and Hanoi is likely to turn off uh, most of the people that love being in large, vibrant cities. If, if Hanoi figures out how to deal with their air pollution problem, big city lovers on tight budgets will seriously have to consider Hanoi for retirement, uh, which is a possibility as the world moves uh, to renewable energies and electric cars and that sort of thing. Okay, walkability. I love being in cities where you can walk everywhere. Uh, Hanoi, this is a high rating. When I visit Hanoi, I stay near this lake, um, link provided. This visit, we, we were here for two weeks and walked everywhere. There are grocery stores, restaurants, coffee shops, bookstores, pharmacies, specialty stores, and everything we needed within walking distance of our apartment near this lake. Um, internet, hi. Uh, internet's great, no problem at all. I've been on video calls, uploaded YouTube videos, and streamed Netflix videos uh, from our Airbnb in Hanoi. No trouble at all. Okay, food. Hi. The food in Hanoi is cheap and delicious. We're spending around 50k dong. That's a dollar 80 uh, US per meal per person in restaurants. You can easily spend five times as much if you like. But I usually opt for the more local experience rather than going for high-end restaurants um, serving international foods. Uh, carry a bottle of water with you everywhere. You'll stay hydrated, plus avoid paying restaurants for drinks. A local beer in a restaurant is about 25 dong, or $1.25. That same beer in a convenience store is 15 uh, K dong, or, or 75 cents. Um, Hey, thanks for watching our video. Come to Vagabond Buddha, check out our retire cheap reports, also our retirement planning and all the information you need to learn how to retire internationally for less money than it costs at home. Come check us out. Weather medium. Average highs range seasonally from uh, 68 uh, Fahrenheit, which is 20 Celsius in January, up to 92 Fahrenheit, which is 33 Celsius in July. Um, so it can get a bit warm here. Average lows at night uh, range seasonally from 58 Fahrenheit or 14 Celsius in January to 79 Fahrenheit or 26 Celsius in July.
for average night time. The rainy season is March through August when at least some rain falls in 15 or more days of the month, but the rain is only heavy uh, from June through September. Uh, things to do, one of my favorite things to do in Hanoi is people watching. When it cools down in the evening, head for a walk around the lake, uh, link provided. Um, you'll find people of all ages socializing on park benches, dancing to Lindy Hop and East Coast Swing, practicing Tai Chi in large groups, meditating, exercising, listening to street musicians, classical music, Eastern and Western, modern music and Asian folk music. There are tea and coffee houses in all directions, bookstores and pop-up street vendors of all kinds selling family recipes. You can ride bikes, go on cultural tours and try the local foods. You can study Vietnamese cooking and language or teach English classes. Um, there are food markets, clothing markets and toy markets. So social considerations. Uh, the Vietnamese are very social and very helpful people. People will just stop and offer to translate if you're trying to order food or find directions. Um, you definitely will want to buy a local Vietnamese SIM card for your smartphone when you arrive in Vietnam. They're available at the airport or you can find them in many convenience stores. You can use Google Translate when you're trying to communicate and you have no common language. Google Maps is also great for getting around the city. If you decide to live part of the year in Vietnam, you'll want to study the Vietnamese language. Many vendors are able to speak tourist English, but that will not form the basis for deeper long-term friendships. You may just get lucky and find a few Vietnamese that speak perfect English, and you may find yourself just hanging around expats, but you need to know have more than one friend. Yes, expats. Uh, the last data shows 80,000 expats living in Vietnam. They're mainly concentrated in the larger cities such as Ho Chi Minh, Hanoi, Da Nang, Da La, and Nha Trang. There are 20,000 members on the largest Hanoi expat Facebook webpage. This is a great place to ask questions about life in Hanoi, but be careful of associating with only expats People that only spend time with other people from their home country have a more difficult time adjusting. Many seem to focus on what was at home that they can't get here instead of learning exciting new things here that are not at home. Immersion can be a zen-like experience. Real estate. Apartments start at around 50 million dong per square meter in Hanoi. So a 700 square foot apartment or 65 square meters would cost about 140,000 US uh, link provided. Rents for a one bedroom apartment in Illinois start at around 8 million dong per month or $350. I never recommend buying until you have lived somewhere for a year or two. You may decide to move somewhere else and you need that flexibility when you first start living internationally. Okay, medical. Historically, wealthier Vietnamese would often travel to Bangkok, Kuala Lumpur, or Singapore for significant health challenges, link provided. But over the last decade, Vietnam has slowly been raising their game medically. Uh, if you get sick while visiting Hanoi, here are some recommended hospitals and clinics, link provided. Pollution. There are many parts of Vietnam that have acceptable levels of air pollution. Hanoi has beautiful days for sure, but there are enough poor quality air pollution days that I do not recommend it for retirement. Okay, if you're finding any value here, could you please like it, comment, or subscribe? Your simple act of kindness will move us up in the Google and YouTube search rankings so our business grows faster. If you'd like to learn how to fire your boss and live in paradise for peanuts, grab a free copy of my book, ebook, How to Fire Your Boss and Travel the World. Uh, link at the webpage, Vagabond Buddha. Hanoi, cost of living. Okay, uh, there's a table on the webpage and it covers uh, rent, uh, food, and transportation, uh, local transportation, um, about in, you know, in and around Hanoi. 
and the range uh, is about 500 for a, per month for a backpacker type, up to uh, up to a thousand, around a thousand a month for a, a frugal type, but not as frugal as a backpacker or someone like myself. Um, now this estimate. Estimated cost of living is for one month, one person as a temporary visitor. It only includes rent, two meals a day, and local transportation. I usually have oatmeal for breakfast in, in my room, so I don't count that or in my apartment. Uh, for a full understanding of what it would cost you to live here, visit numbio.com for Hanoi, link provided, and just add any items that you spend money on that, it's not, that are not in my table. If you retire in Hanoi for cheap, you should have an amazing life compared to what the life you could live in the expensive world. But I'm going to recommend better places in Vietnam uh, as uh, in the next. Just subscribe and watch for future blogs. Never move anywhere until you have visited uh, first personally uh, for you know three to six months to verify the living cost for your lifestyle and needs. I'm not guaranteeing these prices, these are just my notes and estimates from the time of my visit and post. Your costs will likely be drastically different depending on your lifestyle and the time since this post. The above numbers are for one person and do not include alcohol, tours, or extras. And there's a link here to a, a report explaining how the cost of living table works. You can also find that at Vagabond Buddha at the bottom of the front page. If you buy anything using our links, such as flights, tours, or accommodations, you'll pay nothing extra, but we'll earn a small commission. Your kindness will keep us traveling. Okay, best area to stay in Hanoi. Here are a few suggestions. A real high-end hotel, a mid-range hotel, and then a value hotel with a lot of character. All of these are close in uh, around the area I like. And then there's a the top-rated bargain hostel. Uh, you can stay in any of these places, you'll be right in the mix where you want to be. Uh, where we stayed, we stayed in an Airbnb condo, link provided, for two weeks at $21 a night. Uh, if you watch our life and food video, uh, you'll see the inside of that. Um, and there's a, there's a link here for a code, if you use that code uh, and you're new to Airbnb, you'll get a big discount. Okay, cheapest flights to Hanoi. We almost always get our cheapest flights on Skyscanner, link provided. Uh, they have a web crawler that's always looking for the cheapest flights all over the world. Uh, okay, next up, Hanoi Ancient City Walking Tour. Um, I like to do walking tours to show the historical significant areas and buildings, and there's one here. Uh, on the web page. Um, there's a map, you just click the link and start walking. There's a video of me taking the tour and stopping at each spot and telling you what I think is important about it. And if it looks fun, do the walking tour when you're here. Um, okay, next up, e evening walk around Bo Kim Lake. In the evening when it cools down a little bit, this is when it's most fun to people watch. Um, it's an, it's an ancient, culturally rich city that is as sophisticated and nuanced as really any in the world. Nowhere is this more apparent than an evening walk around Lokin Lake. I think my video will speak for itself. Watch that on the webpage. If it looks fun, click the link and start walking. It's a beautiful, beautiful way to spend an evening. Okay, Hanoi favorite markets. Um, there's. There's a, uh, a video here of us taking the market tour, and there's four markets that we're recommending that you visit. And uh, the first one's the largest market, it has everything imaginable, including uh, wet and dry food products out back, and also uh, consumer goods, it's all there. Then there's a night market, which is fun for people watching, and then there's a couple of more typical grocery stores where you can get your groceries. Hanoi nightlife, uh, you're going to have to go out and enjoy the nightlife. It's uh, really a sight to see. Um, I'm providing a walking tour to make sure you put yourself in front of all the fun areas that people watch, and I'm providing you a couple links here where you can get a cheap beer. It sounds like fun. Okay, digital nomads in Hanoi, food and life. We food our we film our everyday life in restaurants and our apartment. We show all that to you. This on uh, this visit, we it took two videos to fit all the interesting stuff. Uh, links provided to those YouTube videos. 
um, and then all of our favorite restaurants, um, we were typically spending $1.50 to $2 per person per meal, and we ate at many places, but we're only listing the ones that we recommend or that we would and did go back to visit more than once. Um, uh, Vagabond Buddhist Kitchen, I love to cook, but it was so cheap to eat out in Hanoi. We only cooked four or five meals at home during our two-week stay. Uh, we bought non-perishables at this grocery store, Link provided, and our fresh fruits and vegetables at the wet market, Link's provided. Um, okay, running meditation. I like to run around this lake. If you like to run, just click that link and go on the walking tour, or running tour. Uh, Hanoi facts and history. Here's some interesting facts about Hanoi, Vietnam, according to Wikipedia. Hanoi is the second largest city in Vietnam with about 8 million people. Plus, there are about 16 million people if you include the surrounding metropolitan area. Hanoi, then called Thang Long, uh, was founded as the capital of Imperial Vietnam in the 11th century AD by the monarch Li Thai To. It remained the capital for 800 years until the Nguyen dynasty moved the capital to Viet, uh, to uh, Hoi in 1802. We will visit Hoi next week. Keep watching our videos, you'll see. The French conquered Hanoi in 1873. Hanoi then became the capital of the French Indochina from 1883 to 1940. That's what they called the colonial uh, France in Southeast Asia. You can still see the French influence on architecture and food in Hanoi. The Japanese occupied Hanoi during World War II from 1940 to 1945. In 1946, the Democratic Republic of Vietnam designated Hanoi as the capital of independent Vietnam. Hanoi remained under local control throughout the first Indochina War with France. Um, from 1946 to 1954 and during the Vietnam War uh, with the U.S. from 1955 to 1975. After World War II, foreigners never controlled Hanoi again. The Vietnamese defeated and expelled the USA from Vietnam in 1975. Uh, death estimates from the Vietnam War uh, with the U.S. Uh, 1 million Vietnamese, 300,000 Cambodians, 600,000 Laotians, both civilians and soldiers, and 58,200 American soldiers plus 1,600, uh, give or take, are still missing in action. At the end of, of the war, the Vietnam War, one million South Vietnamese, friendly to America, jumped into boats of all sizes to flee communist Vietnam. A quarter of a million of these people died at sea. It's often the weakest among us that suffer the consequences of war and the benefits, if any are had, are received by the few. Today, Hanoi is a thriving economic hub and one of the most popular tourist destinations in Vietnam. The Hanoi area has been inhabited by people for 5,000 years. The Chinese domination of this area started 200 BC and lasted about 1,000 years. In the 8th century AD, the Tang Dynasty, the local arm of China, built Lushen, a citadel. The citadel was built to put down the local uprisings. I was unable to find any buildings from that period. The oldest citadel I found in Hanoi was also built by the Chinese about 200 years later, and that's called Thun Long Imperial Citadel. And that's on my Old Town Walking Tour. Okay, please subscribe. Please subscribe to Vagabond Buddha or our YouTube channel to watch us move around the world. 65 countries so far. Uh, present moment awareness. If you're interested in the subject of present moment awareness, my new videos are posted on a different YouTube channel called Present with Vagabond Buddha. You can also download my free ebook, a link provided, I am happy, an owner's manual for the human mind. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Thank you for reading our uh, Retire in Hanoi guide. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, could you please like it, comment, or subscribe to our channel? That would really help our business. Thanks a bunch.